in order to understand how a scan comes in of help one has to understand how server pools work traditionally when you connected to a cluster you had dedicated clusters for specific applications let's take a simple example i have an application called crm an application called erp and an application called as the data warehouse by default you would have created a database cluster for each one of them individually when you size your database you always size for the peak load and always remember the peak load is not something that is a constant requirement a peak load might occur let's say once in a week once in a month or once in a year or a couple of times in a year so when you size your database cluster in terms of its resources you would typically keep the peak load in mind and size it what is the result the result is your infrastructure investment is lying idle most of the time taking the example of our crm erp and data warehouse cluster let's say there is a peak load requirement for each one of these clusters as follows three nodes for crm three nodes for erp and three nodes for the warehouse under such circumstances you are not using all the three nodes in each of the clusters totally nine nodes remember you have invested in hardware you have invested in software which includes licensing which includes for the number of cores you have on these clusters but you are not putting them to the best use what do we mean by best use are we going to run all these nodes at lay 80 90% cpu utilization rarely that's the number one problem number two in case on a particular day my crm cluster loses two nodes for whatever reason you will not be able to share the resources from your erp or data warehouse cluster by moving nodes generally that is not done so you have the resources lying idle in the other two clusters but you are not able to use them in the cluster which needs them so in levenge release 2 oracle blurred out a concept of server pool where oracle said don't create dedicated clusters instead create a common pool of cluster or a single cluster which will be shared by the three applications so how is this going to work i'm going to ensure i use my resources to the best and share the resources whenever there is a need so instead of creating three different clusters of three three nodes i could have created a single cluster with nine nodes when you create such a large cluster you now have the flexibility of deciding who will use how much of it and change it from time to time dynamically in our example let us say these three clusters were combined into a single cluster and i can go and dynamically configure server pool parameters i will create three server pools one server pool which will be used by my crm application one server pool which will be used by my erp application and one server pool which will be used by my data warehouse application in my example i have got a one is to one relationship between the server pool and the application you could have multiple applications connecting to the same server pool we will see that later given that i am going to create three server pools within one cluster i need to know what are the parameters for the server pool for simplicity sake let's call the first server pool as crm pool the second server pool as erp pool and the third one as data warehouse pool given them names now we need to give it some parameters number 1 what is the minimum number of nodes that will be part of the server pool what is the maximum number of nodes that will be part of each server pool and what is the importance or the priority to be given there are more parameters which you can look at later but this is the underlying concept let's say amongst these three server pools we give the top priority to our crm and the importance attribute which defines the priority the larger the number the more important it is so let's say my crm has an importance of 1000 my erp which is the next important has a priority of 700 and my data warehouse which is the least important amongst these three is at 500 always remember priority is relative i am not saying data warehouse is not important but given the context of my erp and crm data warehouse is lesser in priority that's how i have construed this example in your organization in your environment it might be different 
given that we have assigned the priority or the importance now let's say i need two nodes minimum in my crm two nodes minimum in my erp and three nodes minimum in my data warehouse because my data warehouse would do a lot of work i would like to give it more resources as the minimum number of servers and in terms of maximum number of nodes let's say my crm will need a maximum of three erp will need a maximum number of three and data warehouse will need a maximum number of four three three four ideally i should have had 10 nodes in the cluster but since i don't have doesn't matter we'll keep three and three as the maximum for the data warehouse now how is this going to work let's say my cluster is down and the first node starts up it has to decide to which server pool should it belong this is determined by the importance amongst the three server pools that we have crm is the one with the maximum importance so the first node joins the crm pool the second node starts up and it has to identify which server pool it has to join now remember my crm has an importance of 1000 and a minimum nodes of 2 the first need that has to be met is the minimum number of servers in the important server pool so the second node will also join the crm pool the next two nodes on similar manner will join the erp pool and then the next three nodes will join the data warehouse pool i have purposely taken the example where though the first two server pools are very important the minimum number of nodes they need is just two whereas the third pool though less important the minimum number is three so seven nodes have started two two and three is the allocation between the three server pools when the eighth node starts it will now identify where do i join it realizes all the three server pools have met their minimum requirement so now i need to meet the maximum requirement and it will now go and join the most important pool which is crm the next node will join the erp in this manner whenever nodes start up they join respective server pools based on the min max servers in each server pool configured and the importance attribute that you have configured always remember you can change these parameters dynamically and we'll come to that later before that let's see interesting activity that happens we've got nine nodes in our cluster and these nine nodes have now become part of all the three server pools at an equal level of three three and three based on my configuration now let's say something goes wrong and two nodes fall out of the cluster and those two nodes are part of my crm server pool my crm server pool now just has one erp has three and my warehouse has three we've got an imbalance with one node in my most important server pool wherein the minimum required for that is two the erp which is the next important minimum needed two maximum is three and it has got three my warehouse minimum three maximum three and it has got three so with the imbalance in place it has to now bring in at least the minimum to this guy first so amongst the three server pools the erp pool has got three nodes whereas the minimum needed for it is true at runtime one of the nodes from my erp pool will be dynamically moved into the crm pool thereby it has first met the minimum requirement of my crm erp and my warehouse so all three have now taken care of meeting their minimum requirement and my cluster continues to run now let's say one node goes off in my erp there are two part of crm one part of my erp and three part of my warehouse and these two guys have met their minimum but my erp has not met so from the warehouse one of the nodes would be pushed into the erp pool and my data warehouse will become two so all three now have two nodes each but i have not met my minimum of the three requirement of my data warehouse pool if the nodes that went down come up they will join back in the priority that we discussed earlier but let's say our day is not that very good one node goes off in my data warehouse pool what happened two minimum required two available in crm in erp two minimum required and two are there in data warehouse three minimum required but there is just one 
but there is not going to be any further change because these two are the more important server pools and I need to maintain their minimum requirement and this is the least important I will continue to run as it is now let's say one node goes down in the CRM pool so my CRM pool now has only one node though it needs a minimum of two my ERP needs two minimum and it has got two and my warehouse needs a minimum of three but it has got only one and given the fact this guy the CRM needs a minimum of two and it is the most important pool the data warehouse pool nodes will be removed and it will become two and two between the CRM and ERP and my data warehouse pool will not have any nodes remember prioritization is relative given that I need this this is how the server pool will go about now let's say one more node goes down in my CRM pool I have one here and two in ERP and the behavior is this guy is more important I need to meet his minimum first so one node will move out of here and move into my CRM pool so I have two nodes in my CRM pool one node in my ERP pool and that's how my cluster would work and now finally let's say the node which belongs to the ERP cluster goes down there will be no change because the top server pool is CRM it needs a minimum of two and it will continue to run what did you realize in this with the same set of nodes I have been able to share the load across the different server pools I needed and in case of failures I could now ensure the most important server pool to be available and the database that is running there would be available and as a DBA I don't need to do anything this is the fundamental benefit of server pools now we have a challenge if this is the way server pools are going to work I don't know where my database will belong now to do this when you create a database in a grid infrastructure setup you have the option of creating a database as a policy managed or an administrator managed database administrator managed is like running prior to 11g release 2 when you create that kind of a database you would explicitly specify on which nodes in the cluster will the database be available meaning in which nodes will instance be started and when you create services also you specify on which nodes these services will be available but when you create a policy managed database you don't specify on which nodes it will be available you will specify on which server pools it will be available so when I create a database called CRM I will explicitly state this database will make its instances available in the CRM pool which means you should have upfront created the server pools in your cluster and when I create a database I have the choice of specifying which server pool it should belong to when I create my ERP database I will specify it will belong to the ERP pool and when I create my data warehouse database I will specify it will belong to the data warehouse pool thereby you have now told on which server pool instances will be created for a database and when nodes keep moving between the server pools instances are shut down or started accordingly for example if a node went down on my CRM pool and a node moved out of my data warehouse pool and came into the CRM pool under such circumstances the data warehouse instance would have shut down and the node when it becomes part of this pool the CRM instance would have started also note we can also say I can have one database to be part of multiple server pools which means if I create a new database and I make it part of CRM as well as my ERP pool then the instances will be available on both the pools you also have a parameter called cardinality to specify how many instances to bring up in each server pool if I say two instances then when my server pool is available even if it had five nodes because my cardinality is two it will start it only on two nodes that is how server pools work out this is possible with policy managed databases in 11g release 2 and above with this fact what do I do with my applications earlier prior to 11g release 2 in your application you listed all the VIPs right you could do the same here but given the fact my cluster could grow 
let's say I have 12 nodes in a cluster. Every application that is going to connect in its connect string will need to list down all the 12 VIPs. That's a pretty long list. And when my application is trying to connect, it will go through one after the other amongst all the 12 VIPs to identify where it can connect. To make it simpler, SCAN was introduced. SCAN is a clusterware managed resource which has a single host name, SCAN name, which has three IP addresses which are associated with it. More about this in the next video.